morning. We are continuing on with algebra and today we are using carrots to help us. So just remember you might have used these for snowmen recently, um, but we are using carrots. I didn't have any apples in the book. They have apples. I have some apples. I don't have enough apples, but I have lots of carrots. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to model to you what algebra is like. And then when you get into the equations where you're writing them down, um, and you're using symbols, the numbers, and the multiplication or adding, that you can picture what would this mean if it was carrots? What would it mean if it was money or people? And so the more that you can imagine what it is that you're actually doing, the easier it is. So let's, let's look at this. So this is the first question in your book on page 74, so you could look at that if you want to. But let's imagine we have five carrots here, and we have two here, and we have some more in this bag. Now, if I said that this pile of carrots is the same as this pile of carrots, then how many carrots must there be in the bag? So it's a little bit of a puzzle. It's, an, it's not a hard puzzle, but you have to figure out um, what is the mystery number of carrots in the bag if those together with these two equal five. So you can look at it like this. You could think, what do I have to add to two to get five, or you can think, if these are equal, why don't we take away these two, and we'll take away two from over here, so it's not so complicated. Okay, so let's take two away from each side, and now we have three here, and whatever's in here. Now, since we know that both piles were the same, then what's in here must be three. So one, two, can you believe it? Three. Okay, so we were right. So it was the same. So let's try another one with some carrots. Okay, so let's just say one pile we have six. So we'll put three, four, five, six. And then over here, there is one. And we're going to, I'm going to secretly put some carrots in this bag, okay? So you're going to try to figure out how many carrots are in this bag based on the fact that this pile is the same as this pile. No, you can't join over there. Okay. All right. So six over here is equal to one plus whatever's in here. So what do you have to add to this one to make it the same as this? Or let's take one away from each side. If we take one away from each side, will these piles still be even? Yes, because we've taken away the same amount from both. So let's take those away. Now we have five here. So we must have five in here. Let's see. Three, four, five. What do you know? Five and five. And so originally we had six was equal to five in the bag plus one. Okay. So we have the same on both sides. So, um, an equation, so an equation is a, it's a math sentence where you have an equal sign in the middle. And so an equation is a lot like having scales that are balanced. So whatever's heavier weighs down like this or like this, and if they're the same, they go like this. An equation means that they're the same on both sides. They're both equal in terms of what they're having. Um, okay, so if you had, if you had things on a scale, you could take things off both sides and find out um, what is the mystery number by taking away the things that you know on both sides. Okay, so let's look at an equation on my board. I'll pull that over here. So we're going to be doing the same thing here on this board that we were doing with the carrots. But now we are... Um, we are using numbers instead of carrots, but if it helps you to use carrots or buttons or whatever, you can do that until you get it in your head because um, it's really important that you know things concretely or um, what you're actually working with, and then you can start working on it this way with the, with the symbols. Okay, so this is number six on page 74. So let's look at this. So x plus four equals 12. So what we're really thinking is, what number would be x 
to make this sentence true. So what would this number be? So we want to get we want to get this x alone. So what we can do is take 4 away from this side and 4 away from this side. Whatever you take away from one side, you have to take away from the other side to make it still equal. So let's try that. So we'll, we'll say minus 4 here, minus 4 here. So x plus 4 minus 4 is x. 12 minus 4 is 8. So 8 is x. So let's, let's take that 8 back and see if this is true. Is 8 plus 4, does that equal 12? Yeah, so that's good. So the nice things about algebra is that you can actually take your answer and check and see if it's true. Okay, let's try b. So x plus 4 equals 9. So if, if something plus 4 equals 9, what is that something? Let's take 4 away from both sides, just like we took carrots away from both sides, to figure out what is that something? What is that paper bag? What is that x? Okay, so x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 4. So we just added a minus 4 on both sides. The reason we picked 4 was because we want to get this x all by itself. And that's what we have to do to get rid of this 4. Okay, so x plus 4 minus 4 is x. 9 minus 4 is 5. x equals 5. Let's see. Let's put a 5 here instead of the x. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Is that true? Yeah. So that means that that, that something plus 4 equals 9, that something is 5. Okay, let's try one more here. If 14 equals x plus 4, now this one is written a little bit differently. Do you see how we have the 14, the number on this side, and the x is on the right side? That doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just like when I had these two piles of carrots and the brown bag was over here, it would have been fine to move that pile over here and that pile over here. It doesn't matter which side things are on. So. This 14 is equal to x minus x plus 4. That's the same as saying x plus 4 equals 14. They're both equal. It doesn't matter what side they're on. So let's, let's take away 4. So each time we've been taking away 4, haven't we? Because that's what's being added to the 4. So let's take away this extra 4. And if we do it to this side, we have to do it over here too to keep this equal. So 14 minus 4 equals x plus 4 minus 4. 14 minus 4 is 10. x plus 4 minus 4 is x. 10 equals x. Now let's take that 10 and we'll plug it back in up here. 14 equals 10 plus 4. Is that true? Yeah. So that's how you know that you got the right answer. If you take your answer, put it back in the original equation and it makes sense, then you've got the right answer. Okay, so you're going to keep um, going on to the next page, which is page 74, and we've done six together here, so you can do numbers five and seven to nine. So five, seven, eight, nine. Have a great day.